the better the crowd, the more the more engaged the players are, the, the more um, you know kind of intense the game is. Uh, rivalries are are like uh, a playoff game in a sense, and uh, you know every Ranger Islander game I've played in. Uh, it's always been a good one and um, always a tight, close game and a uh, very exciting one. The New York uh, rivalry, I mean, there's these two teams with some historic uh, traditions and, and um, you know, the passionate fans on either side that create just an atmosphere you can't really beat. And for us, it's a division team that we see all the time and hear all about um, when we're here on the island and it's just, you can start playing a team over and over again, that rivalry builds and, and um, you know, it calls for better games. You know, it's on the ice, but it's also in the crowd. And, you know, every time you step on the ice, you, you hear the crowd, the crowd yelling. You you hear the let's go Islanders, let's go Rangers chants, and um, they get you pumped up. You know, it's going into the game, you already know there's going to be that, that excitement level, that energy. And uh, when you hear that, it just gets you going even more. I think the fan animosity is huge. Like, going in there, it's, it's pretty loud for them. And I think when we get home, it's pretty loud for us. So. It's uh, it, to have them behind us it is definitely a big thing. I think we can feed off their fans as well because we know how heated of a rivalry it is, and it's fun to go into those loud buildings. There's there's energy in the building. There's energy on the ice. It's, it's just it's something a little bit extra where it's not you know it doesn't matter if it's uh, a Tuesday in January or the last game of the regular season or opening night. They always have that jump, and I think that uh, you know the players feed off the crowd. The crowds are usually 50-50. Um, and everybody's excited and, and on edge. So, yeah, probably just the energy that's that surrounds those games in the building, on the ice, uh, in the booth sometimes. To play them, you know, a number of times and throughout the year, it's, uh, I mean, the rivalries will just continue to grow. Um, and on top of that, I mean, every game is that much more important. Every game is a divisional game. There's four point games every night. So, um, in a shortened season, it, it'll be a competitive one and it'll be an exciting one. Shortened schedule, right? So, you've got 56 games every game becomes that much more important. And on top of that, no preseason games. So you're going to see if they can come out flying in regular season form. You get to a point in the preseason normally in training camp where you get a preseason game and you get in a fight or you get to hit somebody and it makes you feel good and it makes you feel normal again. You're going to have all of this pent up aggression from all of these players that are just anxious to play a hockey game that matters. And it's been a long time uh, and go out there and even maybe for some of the guys that are on the cusp, on the bubble, maybe practice squad type guys, they're going to get a chance at some point to go out there and make an impact. And I think we're going to see, you know, some of those efforts where everybody's trying to give it a little bit extra, throw in that it's opening night, throw in that it's Rangers Islanders. It should be fun.